Hi everyone, this is Shirley from Shirley's World, and Penny, Penny is here. Are you going to tell him what a bad girl you were this morning? She had to be on time out for a while, because she was harassing my chickens, and just made them get all upset. She's loose in the yard now. I'm out there with her, but she races around like crazy and then digs where there's bricks and things where she can hear the chipmunks. Uh, but she got in the garage today and moved the things I had blocking the nesting boxes. And she was flipping the nesting boxes and there was a poor, my poor gold chicken whose name is Miss Marple. She was in there trying to lay an egg, and she just got so upset. Yeah, and the more she clucked, the more excited he got. She got, of course. So I had to bring her in and put her on timeout for a while. I'll let her run again this evening, but I'm going to keep the garage door shut. Yeah. So you can go. Why don't you go lay down on your bed? Come on. Over there and lay down in bed. I can't be on my lap. I need my lap here. I need to pull up here. Watch out. Come on over there. <clears throat> All right. Hi, Bumblebee. Yeah, I was telling how uh, little uh, Penny was bad girl this morning. She had to be on timeout. She was harassing my chickens. And they were all a flutter. Um, so I sold. What did I sell? I sell I sold 22 items on 22 items on eBay and two items on Poshmark. And believe it or not, and this was a big surprise to me, I sold one item on Mercari. It shocked me when it came in. I had forgotten about Mercari altogether because I really don't do anything on that. But I had a decent sale on there, which I'll tell you about when I go through here. Uh, I'll do my numbers at the end. And then if I can get this done quick enough, I have a box I'd like to get through today. This is a thread up box, the smallest one that's coming. And it's a uh, men's box. I think it's 10 pounds, which in men's clothes, that's not many, that's not that many items. So maybe I can get through that also today. So uh, let me share my screen and show you what I sold. Hey, right off the bat, I think this is something that you gave me, Bumblebee. <laughs> this is a uh, sleeveless sort of a satin top with the graphic of Big Ben down the front. It says UK on it. Uh, I wore it a couple times. It was a little big on me. And uh, I ended up selling it for $15.29, which is was the uh, sale markdown price on it. And it went to Reno, Nevada. <clears throat> uh, all these items, the buyer pays shipping unless I say differently. Okay. All right. Uh, second thing is uh, one of my Poshmark sales. And I was very glad to sell this because it's a junior size. This is by Blue Spruce. Sp Blue Spice, it's a junior size five, it's totally destroyed, was all ripped down the both legs. I mean, it's supposed to be like that. And uh, it sold for $12, which uh, I think was an offer that came in. And out of $12, I only got $9.05. I'm not sure where the five cents comes in. 
but has to probably has to do with taxes and things. But I only got nine dollars and twelve uh, five cents on the sale, but still, I don't like to have junior items uh, for sale because they never sell. Uh, this is a Bobby Brooks embroidered uh, top. This was a really cute little top. Short sleeve. It was uh, had all flowers and birds, hummingbirds, uh, along the front. It's just really cute. Uh, sort of a denim. I called it a shacket. I'm not sure if a shacket has to be long sleeves or not. But it, it was just heavier weight. You could use it like an over a tank top or something like that in the summer is pretty. It uh, sold for fifteen seventy seven, which is an offer I sent out to watchers, and it went to Arlington, Texas. <clears throat> the next thing is that pure hand knit anthropology sweater vest. Um, this was really a neat piece. It was. Uh, a heavy knit piece and it, the buttons on it were all different uh, metal buttons it was kind of cute it was in a small and bumblebee i think you said that you sold one of these uh once uh this sold for 23.50 which was the uh asking price for this and it went to cohasset massachusetts that's hard to say Cohasset, Massachusetts. A lot of S's in there. Uh, yeah. Uh, next thing is by Lulu B. It's a tunic top, a V-neck. It's a pullover. And it had this sort of a neat uh, graphic sort of print on it. Geometric print, if you will. Um, it was, what size are you? Not sure what size this was. It uh, it sold for twenty dollars, which was the regular price I had on it. I don't think uh, I forget how much uh, the 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 uh, prices went on these Lulu B tops. It's not Lulu; it's different. So um, yeah, so that went to Westwood, Massachusetts. Another one to Massachusetts. Uh, this is this belonged to me. This is just something I want to get out of my closet. <laughs> it was cute. It didn't have anything on the back. This uh, this only it was only see on the back. The graphic was only on the back or on the front. I mean, but it did have a lid, which is cute because it keeps your coffee warm. Uh, if you, or anything you put in there, sort of worm. But I did sell it for $5. They paid expedited shipping because this little cup and lid made it go priority shipping. So uh, they actually had to pay $11.75 to get it to them. So uh, in total, whoever bought this paid $17.10 for this cup and lid. <clears throat> okay, here it is, folks, my Mercari sale. Uh, these Cole Haan uh, little heels were, were on th all three of my platforms, Mercari, uh, eBay, and Poshmark. So I had to get them off of those other right away, which I did. Uh, these sold for $45 on Mercari. However, I had free shipping on here, so I paid for the shipping label. By the time I figured out how to get the shipping label, this was a big, this took me over an hour to do this shipping. I had to go through, I didn't know how else to do it. I had to go through the regular post office ship and click thing. I had to pay $10.70 and uh, shipping on this to get it so after the sale i went on and i changed everything um on mike mercari which is there's only like a dozen things in there 
but I changed everything to their shipping. Mercari sends you the label and it's much less of a hassle. So no more free shipping. However, I know that the reason people do their own shipping is because Mercari charges a lot for shipping. But I don't sell hardly anything on there, so that's what, how I'm going to do it. From now on, I will uh, only sell things uh, that the buyer pays shipping. And then Mercari sends you the label. So... <clears throat> The next thing is an eBay, eBay sale. It's a tie uh, by Joseph A. Bank. Uh, this is a very blurry picture. I don't know why this is so blurry. Uh, there, you can see it a little better. It's a pretty tie. Let's see how blurry that is? My camera was not doing good that day. But it sold for $12.64, which was the regular price I had on it. And it went to Columbus, Ohio. And they paid. Uh, oh, that was free shipping on this. A lot of times my ties are free shipping. I think I did free shipping for a while on ties. And then I started charging just a couple dollars. But this was free shipping. So from the $12.64, I paid $3.37 off, off of that for shipping myself. <clears throat> The next thing is uh, this cute little mini skirt. Uh, it's a patchwork uh, madras uh, patterns. I sold a lot of this madras uh, fabric in shorts and skirts for a while. And then all of a sudden, this one just sat. I don't know if it's the brand, Tommy Hilfiger. It's not my best seller, that's for sure. Uh, but... It sold for $21.99, which was the sale price, and it did go out of the country. I uh, went by the Global Shipping Program. I don't know where it went yet, but, uh, yeah, it sold for the uh, sale price, which I was happy about. Next thing is by Madewell. Uh, it's a women's chambray denim shift dress. Sort of just... Uh, it's a big full dress. What size are you? Size large. Uh, three quarter sleeves had tassel tie at the neckline there. And I thought this would sell sooner also, but it did finally sell for $28. Uh, best offer, which I took. Um, they paid $6 in shipping and it cost me six eleven. So I actually lost 11 cents on this. Most everything I make shipping, I make at the end when I do my numbers, I'll tell you how much I made on shipping for the whole week. <clears throat> it, those little things add up. Uh, here's a pair of those Talbot shorts that I bought. I bought like four different pair. This was the 18 women's beige. Uh, they had some stretch in them. Uh, sold for a $14 best offer. Not sure why I took only $14, but I did. They're going to Austin, Texas. And, uh, of course, they're paying shipping. I did make another $1.17 on shipping. So, really, I made $15.17. Uh, the next thing is by Sonoma, uh, an everyday tee, women's plus size 2X. Uh, had a sort of a swing uh, bottom and a heather heather knit. And this uh, sold for $11.43, which was the sale price. And it went to Salem, Oregon. <clears throat> this is a pair of D jeans in this... Um, Animal print, leopard print, stretchy, uh, stretchy jeans sold for fourteen ninety five, which was the sale price, and they went to Attleboro, uh, Massachusetts. Another Massachusetts sale. Hmm. 
Uh, here's my Knox Rose sale of the week. Uh, this is an embroidered boho blouse. Had embroidery on the top there, some ruffles, a, a tie at the neck, and a border. And I think uh, the sleeves are usually always elastic sleeves like that. And that sold for $16.50, which was an offer I, I accepted for this. Where are you here? Uh, yeah, I accepted $16.50 on this blouse. And it went to Carlsbad, California. <clears throat> Coldwater Creek Chambray uh, Shirt Dress. I just got this in a Goodwill uh, blue box. Or no, I bought this. I'm sorry. I bought this at Goodwill. I paid $3.42 for it. I sold it for $25. Uh, best... Uh, that was their best offer. And it weighed over a pound, so it went uh, priority shipping. And it went to Fort Dodge, Iowa. And that did sell very... I, I just got this. I think my last trip to Goodwill. So it did sell really fast. Uh here is a one-piece bathing suit. This is just plain olive green, army green. I think I got this from Bumblebee in one of her boxes. I'm not sure. Uh, this sold for $21.99, which was the sale price. And it went to Park Ridge, Illinois. Uh, plus they paid shipping. There's only uh, two things that I lost a tiny bit of shipping on, and one was the free shipping, and I would sometimes I lost 11 cents or 17 cents, something minor. But when I make shipping, I make at least 50 cents over, and sometimes quite a bit more than that. So uh, this is a tie dye, really full, full skirt. It had panels at the bottom there that made it really, really full. Uh, sort of a midi uh, length dress with an elastic waist. And that sold for $15 best offer. This hit was so full, it was just cotton. It was so full, it actually had, uh, no, it was close to a pound, but it did go for $6. Uh, it was like 14 pounds or 14 ounces, close to a, uh, the limit went to Vero Beach, Florida. <clears throat> Here's a, a knit top. I thought this was pretty by Catherine's plus size in a 2X. Uh, there were little, I don't know if you can see it, there were little metal studs on this. You can't even see it on here, but there are tiny little metal studs, round studs on there. It was sort of a neat looking uh, top. It sold for $15.83, which was the sale price. And uh, where'd it go? Hampton, North Carolina. Okay, next thing is Ann Carson, a prairie blouse uh, top in a 1X, had balloon sleeves. This was such a pretty blouse uh, top. It had uh, loop and covered buttons all the way halfway down. Uh, very, very pretty blouse. This sold for $17.59, which was the uh, sale price on this. And it went to Catham, Catham uh, New Jersey. <clears throat> Uh, here's this Morona uh, wide leg linen pants. Now I just also got these. These came. These did come in a blue box because I had that written, which I'm putting in my uh, my uh, custom ID place on my listing, so I can tell where I got these now. This this I paid three dollars and fifty five cents for. It came in a blue box. 
and I sold it for $16.44, which is an offer I sent out to watchers. And it went to Cedar Hill, Texas. Which will be cool down there because it is hot in Texas. Okay, here's my other uh, Poshmark sale. Finally, I sold this pair of uh, Mountain Hardware shorts. I thought I'd sell these right away when I got them, but they sat and sat and sat. But they finally sold for $38 on Poshmark. Out of $38, I got $30.40, and they went to Old Mystic, Connecticut. <clears throat> This is something I've had for a while. This is by Aldered State. It's a sweater tunic mini dress. Uh, it was, it's either a tunic or a mini dress. I wasn't sure, so I put both names on there. But somebody bought it. Uh, and it's going to Sol Salida, Colorado. And uh, sold for $15 best offer. It's not exactly the right time to sell these sweater dresses, but. I sold it for 15 and off it went. Uh, this is a cute little American Eagle Outfitter sleeveless dress, sort of a boho uh, dress. Had a tassel tie at the neck. It was, uh, had a pretty border at the bottom with some paisley print down there. And that sold for $15. Nope, wrong slip. Sold for... Well, yeah, $15. I had two $15 in a row there. I uh, went to South Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And, uh, yeah, I I made another $1.43 on the shipping on that, so a little bit more. And this was a surprise. Uh, I have such trouble now selling Quacker Factory. But this came in a box. This came in a blue box. I paid $3.50 for this piece. It sold for $20.23. And uh, it went to Los Angeles, California. This has a this is a cardigan. It has buttons all the way down. The buttons are crystals, crystal buttons, and there were it was jeweled all the way around the neck, and it was in this purple. Love the color, purple leopard print, and it did sell. So it sold for the regular sale price that I had on it. So that's good. <laughs> and the last thing is uh, Ann Taylor Loft tank top uh, women's top. This had a sort of a silky front, and the back was sort of a knit like a t-shirt knit type but it had lemons all over it and i have a poly bag mailing bag that has lemons in it so she got lemons on her tank top and lemons on her bag that came in and this sold for uh, thirteen dollars and nineteen cents which is which are, where are we here there we are thirteen nineteen I don't know why that keeps jumping. Um, it was a reduced price for this. And it went to Reading, Massachusetts. Another Massachusetts sale. That's what, four? Went to Massachusetts this week. I just find that so strange. But anyway, I actually made another $2.04 on this shipping for some reason. Uh, it was very, very lightweight for one thing. I charged my regular $5.85 shipping and they only had to pay, I only had to pay $3.81 for the uh, label because I think it only weighed like four ounces or something. So that's what I sold this week. And I am not sure if I can, I think I have to delete this whole page in order to get back here. Let me. Let me stop this uh, sharing thing. Okay, now I'm pretty sure I have to delete that. Let's try it without doing that. I'll try to share this my spreadsheet. 
think we tried this before and I had to delete it, but we'll see. Going to share the screen. And I think there was a window here. Let me see. Yes, can you see that? I think you can. Uh, that is uh, the week of April 17th to the April 23rd. Uh, let me make sure that you can see that. I don't see. Let's see. Okay, let me know if you can see the spreadsheet. If not, I have to. Uh, Sue's doing well. She's at home and she's doing well. Uh, Bumblebee, do you see a spreadsheet on the on the uh, share the screen thingy? <clears throat> I don't want to go on here until you can see it. It's easier if you can follow along. Oh. <laughs> Do you see a spreadsheet up there? I'm just going, I think I'm just going to uh, click this off. <clears throat> Stop sharing. Gonna stop sharing a minute here. Okay. Let me know if you could see that spreadsheet for a minute. I'll put it back on if that works. I'm gonna try it again. <clears throat> Share the screen. Okay, can you see the spreadsheet? Hello? Did I lose you? I think I lost you altogether. Well, I'm just going to continue here, like you can see this. <laughs> uh, okay. My uh, total items that I sold on eBay was 22, 22 items. I sold two on Poshmark and one on Mercari. This spreadsheet is not, I didn't put Mercari on here because I didn't want to change my spreadsheet. It's bad enough I get this much done on it. Uh, my gross sales from eBay were $528.10. The average selling price on eBay was $24. Uh, fees and shipping charges from eBay. Oh, you can see it. Okay. Fees and shipping costs are a dollar or one hundred and eighty-four dollars and eighty-three cents. That's sh that's shipping fees and eBay's fees. Okay, down on Poshmark, I sold two items. 
with a gross sales of $50, average sale price $25, and Poshmark fees were $10. So if you go over to the totals, totals I sold, we're not, we're not counting Macari. That's separate. <laughs> uh, items sold, 24 items. Gross sales for both of those platforms, $578.10. Average sale price, $24.09. Total fees for both platforms, $194.83. Now, my cost of goods that has to come out is $84 for all my the 24 items. Uh, so the estimated net now that I made, uh, $299.27 is what I made all week from those two platforms. Now, I made an extra profit on shipping. I made an extra $16.70. So my total net for the week on those two platforms is $315.97. Now, my Mercari sale, if you add in, I netted, actually netted, $28.19 after I paid shipping and their fees and everything. So you would have to add another $28.19 onto that for my total for the week. <clears throat> it's taking a long time for what I write to get to me. Well, it may be because I had the that extra screen open. It was just taking a long time on my end. I don't know. Once I closed the screen, uh, your comment came through pretty fast. So maybe that was it. I closed the other big screen. So let me stop, stop sharing here. <clears throat> Okay, so that's my numbers and uh, what I sold. So this makes it easy when I do the numbers to uh, I have a I have it in the spreadsheet and I also can put it on my Poshmark spreadsheet, which is just real little, of course. And do you think we have time to open this box? I think so. We haven't been here an hour yet. <laughs> So I'm going to open this thread up men's box. This is a 10 pound box. It costs $50 uh, plus tax. It came, it was free shipping. So plus tax, $53 and 38 cents. So we'll have to count the pieces at the end here. You have to move a little bit. Why don't you go lay in your bed there, Penny? Okay, here we are with the first thing is Tommy Hilfiger. Uh, Tommy Hilfiger, it's a pair of beige, uh, basic beige walking shorts. These have some small pleats uh, in a size. They're new, with, it's new with tags. Chino, they call these chino, classic chino shorts. In the size 42, so it's a nice big size. Just beige, brand new shorts. This feels new. This is by ASOS Design in a small, looks like, I think it's extra small. Is this a women's or a men's? It's buttoned like a men's. Boy, that's very small. It's a, it's an extra small. has a band collar. Just a band collar on it. Uh, it's fitted. has darts. This looks more like a women's shirt to me, but I don't know. It buttons over like a men's shirt. It does look brand new, or feels brand new. It's never been washed. You can tell by the tag here. 
to fit chest 34 to 36. Cotton and elastane. So I'm not sure really if this is men's or women's, but it's new without tags, I would say. From that. Oh, this is a, uh, there's the alligator or crocodile, whatever they call that. This is Lacoste Sport. Lacoste Sport. This is men's medium elastic waist. It's lined, they're lined. This is more of a, a winter or fall type uh, running pants. It has zippers at the end there of the leg to make it easier to get on. And then a less elastic, like jog, these are jogger pants. They're black. Uh, so that's good. Has a tiny blue stripe that goes down the leg also. <clears throat> this is a sweater. It's very soft. J. Crew. Oh, Italian merino wool in a large. Please don't have a hole in it. It looks good. No holes that I can see. Looking through the window there. This is a nice blue, like a slate blue. Uh, I say this size in a large J. Crew merino wool pullover crew neck, uh, light white sweater. That's good. Here's a flannel shirt by Polo Ralph Lauren in a, a, a small. This button's like a men's, but what I found out about Polo Ralph Lauren or any of Ralph Lauren's things. Some of their women's things, buttons like a men's. And this looks way too small. And the sleeves aren't real long. This, I'm sure this is a women's. I bet you anything. This is a women's. Small. Extra small. Or no, small. Small a flannel shirt. It's very pretty. Uh, pattern. Plaid pattern. I would for sure wear this. Uh, yeah, like an overshirt. But I think that's a women's shirt. It's got a good brand. I like to sell it real for. This is what gave us weight to this box. Got some jeans in here. Uh, this is by D S T L D D S T L D all natural indigo dye D S T L D is new with tags designed in Los Angeles 34 by 30 these are men's jeans Brand new. There's straight leg. I don't think this brand sells for very much. If I remember rightly. It's a zipper fly. Uh, just a pair of jeans. I'll have to look this, this, that up, but it seems to me I put these up once before. I don't think it's high end brand. Oh dear, here's another pair of them. But they're new. 32 by 30. And these are black. These are black. 
new with tags. It's a bit of a straight or tapered leg. Maybe these are skinny. And, uh, doesn't say anything about skinny. Uh, made in Turkey. Doesn't give the style at all. It's just designed in Los, Los Angeles. Oh yes, yeah, skinny. Okay, these do say skinny on them under the tag. Slim. Okay, it does say. These are slim <laughs> and these are skinny. Okay, the black ones are skinny. I have to look these up. I'm not sure about them. But they are new. Oh, and another pair of them. 36 by 32. These are skinny slim. <laughs> they couldn't make up their mind on these. Okay, these are more washed out. Uh, lighter wash. Or medium wash. Pair of jeans. <clears throat> okay, we can stop with that brand new. Oh, here's Tommy Helfiker, but this is still still in the store setup here. Still has the tissue paper. It's brand new. With a $69.50 price tag from Macy's. Large, classic fit. Tommy Hilfiger. Really nice uh, shirt. I don't know if it's long sleeve or short sleeve. It's a long sleeve. Um, Brand new shirt. It has that little plastic thing there. All ready to ship. Of course, I can't measure it. I don't want to take that apart. Something wool. Everlane. Oh. Everlane. Extra large. I don't have a hole. I'm sure this is it has something on it. I think that'll come off. Um, this feels like a hole. Let me see. It's a gray long sleeve sweater, pullover sweater. see they have these see-through tags this is cotton and cashmere cotton and cashmere it's very soft uh, everlane men's extra large sweater hopefully no holes Well, that'll probably pay for the box. <clears throat> Holloway. Holloway, I think it's a golfing brand, maybe, is it? Long sleeve. It's an active wear brand. It has a zip, like a Halfway zip uh, opening there, and the sleeves have a patch not a patch, but a color way thing there. It's, it's gray. That must be the logo there, all the way. 
I don't know. I've never, uh, I don't think I've ever sold this brand. So I'll have to look this up. This zips all the way up to be like a, a turtleneck. A heather, sort of a heather knit look. You would agree that the, like the woman's, yeah, the pink. Yeah, for sure. Here is Nike Pro Combat. It's a short sleeve t-shirt. Nike Pro Combat's a good style to have. It's tissue paper all the way down to the bottom on this one. It's like a jacket, under armor. It's cold gear. This half zip, extra large, loose. It's uh, under armor golf. Perfect season to put this on. It's green with the uh, chartreuse inside and the on the sleeves that sleeve there, Under Armour logo. This is a good thing to put on right now. Cold gear. Our golf, this golf course was packed full this weekend. There's still golfing out there. Still people on the green. It's one after another. And on the weekends, especially Sundays, there's a lot of uh, women with their husbands. Like they, the women, the men probably went golfing Saturday with their buddies, and on Sunday they have to take their wives. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've noticed there was a lot of women in the groups. This is another, this is like a windbreaker, I think. With the hood. It's black. I never heard of the name. Y A N Z H I. Yance, Yancey. Have you ever seen that? Why? I don't know if that's coming through or not. Y A N Z H I. It's just a black windbreaker with a hood, a hoodie. I don't know what size it is either. It's a mystery. Could be that. Good, could be nothing. There's no size here. I think it was cut out right there. It's at least a, uh, it's at least a large. Oh, it has a pocket, snap pocket in the front there. So it's, it looks like it's made really nicely. So I think it's a decent, decent thing. Well, we have a belt and a tie left. I think. And a two belts. We have two belts. This is a reversible, and this is made by I can't read it. It has printing on there. It's a 36. <laughs> That's all. I don't see a brand name, however, on that end. It is reversible from brown to black, of course. You you click the, uh, this clicks somehow and turns. Okay, and here's a brown belt. Oop. Sorry. Get 
the dog. Here's a brown belt. <clears throat> this one is genuine Italian leather in a size 36. And no brand either, but it's handmade in Italy. Well, that's too bad that it doesn't have a brand. It's a really nice belt. <clears throat> I have several dress belts, men's dress belts. Oh. Okay, let's see what tie we have. I think they throw in ties just for the heck of it. The men's store from Bloomingdale's. It's a Bloomingdale's tie in a navy blue with red and white stripe. Just a store brand tie. And that is what we got. So let me count the pieces here. I don't know if I uh, count. We have two, a tie and two belts. Does that count as three? I guess. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 pieces. All right, where's my... 17 pieces. Let me write that down before I forget it. <laughs> okay. And this box was fifty dollars, fifty three dollars and thirty eight cents. Fifty three thirty eight. Divided by 17 means each piece was three dollars and 14 cents. Now, if you count the, if you just count say, uh, 15, say 15 pieces. If you count the the tie and the belts as one, okay, I'm going to do it as 15 pieces. <coughs> Divided by 15 equals 356. Three, six, 356 each. 356 each. Okay, that's okay. Um, and there, this, this thread up box, a lot of thread up boxes I was getting before I stopped for a while. I was getting things that were, a lot of them were damaged. This one doesn't seem to be like this. This seems everything is in pretty good shape. Uh, that's why I sort of like the blue boxes because they seem to be in good condition and there's a lot of new things in them. Uh, sometimes the brands aren't the best, but I have to tell you what happened. I went on Friday I get a notification when it's time to go order a blue box. <laughs> so at a quarter to six, it tells me, go order a blue box. So I come in here and I see if there's anything I can get. So I went on and when it turned to be six o'clock, I immediately ordered a shoe box. Well, I ordered the shoe box and I got it. And you have to pay for it then. It won't let you order a bunch of them and then pay. You have to order each one separately. So I ordered the shoe box 
and paid for it. And then I went back on and that thrifty box that I liked so much the last time that was so cheap. It was like $1.78 a piece it comes down to. So I thought, well, I'll order. I'll see if I can get one of those again. So I, I ordered two of them. Bump, bump. And I went back on and I, no, I ordered one, went back on and ordered another one. But instead of my finger just tapping it once, it somehow tapped it three more times. I have four, <laughs> four thrifty boxes coming. Now they're only $14.99 a piece. And who knows, it may be really good. But yeah, I have one shoe box and four thrifty boxes coming. I don't know why it let me order more than one at a time. I don't know. It's a mystery to me. But anyway, I have all these boxes coming, and I know because they've sent me emails about them that they're uh, already getting them packed up and ready to go. So I've already been charged for them. So, yeah, they're $5 shipping no matter what you order. $5 uh, each one shipping. So I have four, five, actually five boxes from Goodwill coming. Yeah. I also got my second thread up box. It's a big uh, 50 piece box. I'm going to wait to open that. Because right now I have enough uh, things to work on. But, uh, yeah, I think that was a pretty good box. And, yeah, the Everlane, for sure. New with tags. Uh, jeans are good. Yeah, I, I don't know anything about that brand, but I don't think it's a... I made my own iced tea today. I made a big, big pot of tea. And now I can pour it in and put sugar in whatever and have an ice and have iced tea. Because I ran out of my bottled iced tea from Aldi's. So I thought, well, I'm just going to make it. So that's what I did. So... That's my uh, what sold video and a box opening all at once. So I will be back on uh, whenever I feel the need to open another box. And uh, yeah, be uh, I should actually go on and put some more things on Mercari. <laughs> I can cross list you know really easily so I should probably do that it's just I did have a, a boo-boo on Poshmark I would have sold another Vince sweater if it hadn't already been sold on eBay I had sold it on eBay a while back and didn't erase it from Poshmark and it sold again so I had to cancel it's much easier canceling on Poshmark because you don't print out the label so nobody's getting charged anything so they just say please don't please don't uh, print the label out so I always make sure I have something before I do any printing of labels so that would have been another nice sale if they're another 38 or 40 dollars for that sweater but because i goofed i didn't get it so i will be back sometime uh this week uh, for another box opening have a good week everybody and uh i will see you then bye thanks for coming <laughs>